my all the YouTube friends. I would like to say thank you so much and I will really appreciate you guys to send me good comments, subscribe my all the YouTube videos. Since I was made some of the YouTube videos such as iPhone themes, iPod themes and lots of other videos. So that's why once again I would like to say thank you so much to send me good comments and subscribe. Uh, today I'd like to show you one of the video of mine is uh, Sony Vega, in Sony Vegas Pro 9 which is called uh, any kind of curtain if you say like would say like uh, stage curtain or uh, if you can say any cinema curtains or any, it could be anyone so how the curtain is open and how the curtain is closed effect so which is I'm going to show you today and um, I hope you guys like it and uh, this is the very big video you guys go and see it so you can make more idea how do you make the curtain open and closing effect in Sony Vegas Pro 9 so let's see we'll start now and you guys stay tuned so this is the first picture and uh, we crop the part whatever I like whatever I need to put on the Sony Vegas to effect on the curtain open and close then second and we start the cropping on that which is here it is we cut the middle part which is the open the curtain and you can see it over here there's the border there's the stage there's the all three lights which is usually if you're seeing in a stage movie stage or any show or any kind of stage I'm talking about and this is the middle part we cut it we cropped it and then set that this is the one is we crop okay you guys if you see the background is uh, uh, check mark gray with white when you uh, drag and drop this picture you don't know what the picture size is so you have to go to image and then see the image size first your image size is 5 sorry 958 white and height is 732 you have to be Remember this size, then after when you cropped it, everything you done. Uh, let me show you here. So, I think you guys make more clear out over here. This is the size is 958, 732. I'll make the new one and I'll show you. Here it is. See, that's the exact size. And this picture, you have to take, get to the, here. So it might be shown. Okay, now there's the mold tool, and then we have to drag down there. Okay, all right, there we go. Now you have to come here. You have to adjust the size, and then you have to just click that here, and that's it. So this is the very easy part the outside one you can fit very easily but when you drag and drop this part you have to take you did if you see over here the top and the left side they have a you ruler have to take the ruler from here and then you have to take the ruler from here to get the exact size to fit right there once you fit it if you see right there how do we cropped it you have to exactly the same thing you have to crop you don't have to worry about this part if you see right there uh, I can make it closer but uh, it's kind of blurry things over here it's on the bottom and so don't worry about that it's gonna be covered up when you go to the um, Sony Vegas when we we'll start the opening and closing effect so you don't have to worry about through this uh, blurry things over here if you want to clear up you can clear up but make sure don't brush too much over here to effect on this color inside your red curtain so I just prefer to don't do that because you know it might 
massive and then after you have to go over again and again and again and wasting all your time so make sure don't do that this thing and uh, so this is the thing is uh, I like to show you first how do you crop this part uh, how to get the picture all right so we have to skip from this part and now we're going to Sony Vegas Pro 9 this is pre-setting I already been preset for you guys to save our time let's get started now and we'll show you how do you guys make this beautiful fact beautiful I'm telling you it is really really nice okay first of all you have to take this picture which is right there uh, here it is so this is a picture we need to take it to the first track first video track then after we have to take the second picture and you don't have to worry about this picture you don't need to be this picture you have to use only this and this picture all right guys okay so first of all you have to drag this picture into your first track yes guys into your first track and then after you have to make the second track uh, you can just uh, stay here click the right click and make it uh, a video track and then showing the video track over here all right so and then second one you have to pick this curtain it's right here there we go you can pick this one now okay and then you have to drag next to your this curtain you have to drag over here <clears throat> So it will showing you your outside part with the stage light and everything. All right, guys. And now we have to set up our second portion. You don't have to do anything. You just make the copy and paste and uh, drag and drop over here. Or you can just pull this uh, part. You see right there, if you can see my cursor, you have to push, click that part, click here and drag to all the way to the last because this part you have to you have to use all the way end to your video so this this part is very important if you can see right there you see right here the effect is showing you so this is what will with, uh, will be all the way to the end uh, stay here in your video so you don't have to do it anything over here and there's not any even effect uh, we been set up so they just as like as it is like this so make sure when you uh, click this uh, uh, picture make sure your uh, middle part uh, would be your middle part would, would be uh, transparent so in this case your curtain will showing you transparent and your effect will showing you like just like that now we have to set up how are you gonna set up your cookie cutter first of all if you see right here you have to go here which has already been open over here for you guys to save our time you have to take this cookie cutter yes guys you have to take the cookie cutter and uh, you have to pick this one it says square center white border yes guys you have to pick this one square center white border you have to take this and just straight to drag and drop to the right here on your first picture once you've done that then after you have to click this then after if you can see right there right here you see cookie cutter uh, I will go through here but uh, let me will finish this one first cookie cutter first of all if you see right here shape click down arrow to see the bunch of uh, options over here you don't have to select okay when you drop drag and drop your cookie cutter into your first picture it will show you the uh, square so you don't have to click the square one you have to pick the oval side you have to pick this one oval side then after you have to go to the second method cut away section all right then after you have to feather would be 0 0.06 your border will be 0 
your repeat means x will be 1 your repeat y will be 10 then after you have to border subtraction is over here is center x would be 0 0.505 your center y will be 0 0.496 center y will be 0 0.496 my friends that's why i'm repeating because of you don't have to set up again and again and again and again that's why we have to pre set up over here we give you pre numbers over here on the exact numbering on that then after you have to if you see bottom right there if you can see my cursor i just pointed over here on the bottom your pointer will be when you open this curtain slowly slowly you have to be pointed wherever you want first you have to be open it and you have to last point over here and then after you have to middle point because of your curtain will be going to so more then after you have to stay here on your first point just click uh, right click and then you make it uh, smooth so it will going smooth like uh, slowly and smoother so your cookie cutter will be showing you very smooth and uh, very nice if you can see right there there is a very smooth you don't have to see anything any cutting or something like that so it's, it will be very smooth all right once you set this one you have to take this part right click make that copy and paste it right here on your very end where you want to close your movie on on middle part if you see right here their picture i'll show you later to complete this part over here so we're not going through over here so uh, you have to be uh, paste it over here your last portion where you want to end your video okay and uh, then after you have to go here your cookie cutter now this time you have to close your curtain all right guys you have to close your curtain so if you can see right there the curtain will be closing okay so you have to set up the opposite side same thing you have to pick this one oval side cut away section and your feather will be zero six border will be zero repeat will be one repeat will uh, sorry repeat x will be one repeat y will be 10 your size will be 0 0.420 and this time over here your center x will be 500 your center y will be 500 and same thing whenever you come over here you have to this position will be closing make sure you guys your this position will be closing so in this case the curtain will be closed this position look like uh, the setting will be uh, cosmetically be same but only the position you have to be closing over here so this is the cookie one cookie cutter how do you set up this one okay all right now we're going to second step is effects and we'll be back in Sony Vegas Pro 9. Bye.